Hello, 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 welcome or welcome back to my channel. I don't know what that intro was, but sure, sure. So, I had a little parcel come, um, it, one of my pre-orders, yeah, uh, it came and I was like, yeah, I, I think I need to read it now, so, I did. <laughs> it's uh, Tales of the Celestial Kingdom by Su Lin Tan. Now this is a short story collection based, well not based, but like a continuation in the same realm characters as Daughter of the Moon Goddess and Heart of the Sun Warrior. Now this is a series that is, to my knowledge, because I'm not very knowledgeable about the Chinese mythology so to my knowledge uh, these books are based off several different Chinese mythology -ies. <laughs> yeah and I read these I want to say last year but also could be slightly earlier than last year among those lies anyway so I read Tales of the Moon Goddess, that's not it. <laughs> Tales of the Celestium Kingdom. I felt like a those words were not right. Anyway, um, so we have, I believe it was nine short stories. I'm gonna double check. Three, seven, nine. Nine short stories. The short stories are, uh, some of them are a bit of a prequel, some of them are like in, in, in between, <laughs> like in the story and then um, a bit afterwards, I guess. I, I think they called it a, a epilogue to it. I'm pretty sure the epilogue, yeah. I wouldn't say this is a short story collection you can read without having read the previous duology as it were. Um, I mean, sure you can, but you will not really know the characters at all. Being as it were a bit of a time since I read the duology, I have completely forgotten how to say any of the names, so I'm not even gonna attempt to do that because that would be more butchering than anything else <laughs> and probably wouldn't even be the correct way. Yes, yeah, so definitely not recommending you read it read this short story collection without having read the duology as it were but i mean if if you wanna I'd do it it's 150 pages of well short stories <laughs> having actually known the duology the the universe as it were uh i i do recognize all the characters i i'm familiar with them all um because we don't i think there was only one story in here that we actually follow the main character. Uh, all the other stories are following, uh, well, her mum, her dad, her dad, yeah, her dad, um, her lovers, <laughs> um, yeah, both of them. They're not actually lovers. Um, they're wanting to be. Also, uh, if you read this without having read those, you will be spoiling yourself for the duality as a what. Do I think it was strictly worth <laughs> reading this? So here's the thing. I didn't really find that I was gaining anything more to the duology when I read this, because I feel like all the things that are said, even if it's from other characters' perspective, was already said in the duology so i don't feel like i gained anything more it was very well written though so I, i'll give it that but yeah i <laughs> i didn't really feel like i gained anything but well written very cute all that jazz so i mean now i can i, I have a little collection although i will say this this book cost as much as this book so, how expensive are books? Expensive. Um, but um, I read somewhere in this that uh, Su Lin Tan was all the personal monetization she was gaining from this book, she was donating. So, there's that. So, at least when you pay £17 for a, for a small book, you know that some part of it is actually going to charity. Not that I don't think Su Lin Tan deserves to get paid for her writing, but um, whoever prized the books, really, 
really very short little video I basically it arrived I picked it up and I thought let's just make a very short video about it so here it is ah anyway thank you so much for watching I shall see you all next time until then take care oh bye, -bye.